Doctor, can you explain what, what's a chelate? What are chelates? So a chelate is a, a way in which minerals are complexed uh, to the metal uh, in a way that lands up occupying its reactive uh, uh, species. The, 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 um, uh, and how this is done is, well, first of all, the word chelate comes from the word keel. It's a Greek word, which means lobster claw. And a lobster claw uh, would, uh, uh, the whole idea is grabbing a mineral uh, with a pincer movement, so the mineral is here, and you have an, an element that can at least bind to it on two sites, two reactive sites. Um, amino acids are very suitable for this uh, because uh, the amino end of the amino acid uh, provides electrons that can uh, contribute to a coordinate bond. The carboxyl side can form a covalent bond. And the metal itself lands up closing the ring. So the whole idea is to create a ring which uh, essentially lands up preventing those reactive elements of the molecule from binding or complexing with other things. Um, ferrous bisglycinate has got two glycine molecules. And the idea behind that is that it actually grabs it from both ends and forms two rings. Um, and why this is important is, again, uh, any time that you have uh, 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 electrons that are exposed, they can actually form complexes with other, with other agents and or uh, induce some of, the, um, some of the known stressful things on biologic tissues. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, you know, part of the uh, people don't realize this, but iron is a very toxic substance, mm -hmm. um, and uh, which is uh, the reason why uh, the way iron is either transported or stored, it's always got to be wrapped in a protein. So, um, uh, so that's one aspect. The other aspect is the body um, has to protect against um, iron access. What's interesting is that the body doesn't have any real effective way of getting rid of excess amount of iron. So the, the main way that it does so is by clamping down on, on absorption. Uh, so when somebody takes uh, a food stuff that contains iron, um, the iron has to be protected, okay? At least the body has to be protected from the uh, potential negative effects of iron, even in the stomach. So chelating it, or pre-chelating it, and we can talk about that in a minute, is a very effective way of actually pre-wrapping the iron, mm. as opposed to providing um, uh, iron in a way that actually can, can be irritating to biologic tissues. So, so what's the main reason for, for chelating minerals versus trying to get them through a, a different route? Okay, so the one aspect that I mentioned is trying to protect the body from mm -hmm. some of the, uh, the negative effects of iron. The other is that the body itself, uh, when we consume iron in foodstuffs, um, the, the food material contains, particularly if it's of plant origin, contains phytates or polyphenols uh, in beverages like tea, tannin. These are very inhibitory. What does it mean by being inhibitory? They complex very avidly with iron. So once iron is in the stomach, uh, it will be picked up by phytate, polyphenols, or tannins, and complexed in a way that actually uh, uh, disallows that iron from being released for absorption. So by pre-chelating, it's essentially a little bit of a Trojan horse mm. uh, sort of uh, concept. We are sending in iron pre complexed, okay, mm -hmm. but with, with nutritive uh, material or a nutritive uh, ligand that can then land up at the appropriate time being peeled off and then allowing the iron to be absorbable. So when I, uh, you know, as a physician, when I was first taught about chelating iron, the understanding that I always had and that was taught to us was that we use chelators in order to get rid of iron. Uh, so, for example, uh, there are certain medical conditions uh, of iron excess, um, hemochromatosis, hemosiderosis, uh, people who, who get frequent blood transfusions uh, used to uh, have iron overload. So we used to uh, inject a chelator 
into the blood circulation, desferoxamine is one of them, in order to bind avidly to iron and pull it out of the circulation um, and that way reduce its potential toxic effect on the liver mm -hmm. and, and, and other tissues. When I was first introduced to iron chelates as a nutritional supplement or as an ingredient for, a, for an iron product, for example, um, this concept of, well, wait a minute, we, we're uh, withholding iron from being absorbed in the GI tract, that doesn't make sense. So what's different about this pre-complexing with, uh, with chelates is that it has to be strong enough the chelated uh, reaction has to be strong enough to protect the iron uh, from the interfering or inhibitory substances in the gauntlet of the stomach, but not that tight that it, o that it holds onto it all the way down the GI tract. Mm. It's got to release it in order for it to be uh, bioavailable. And mm. that's actually what happens with uh, products like ferrous bisglycinate or spodoglycinate. Mm. Um, they hold on to them through the, 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 the stomach phase and then are able to release them and or there's some evidence that's been shown that uh, some of the uh, chelates may actually be absorbed uh, in, in, you know, uh, intact uh, through the amino acid uh, moiety. So that's part of why chelated ions are so important mm -hmm. uh, uh, in contributing to a much more bioavailable and uh, uh, perhaps less, not perhaps, definitely a less irritating uh, iron source. Can you speak a little bit about the importance of knowing uh, the substance the mineral is chelated with? Is that important? So um, I think it is important from the standpoint of th th there are only certain types of uh, ligands that can be uh, used. They have to... Um, Number one, they have to be able to be reactive in a, in a pincer-like movement uh, to mm -hmm. the iron. Number two, they have to be small enough. They have to be um, safe, nutritionally valuable, because um, whether they get absorbed intact or whether they come off prior to uh, the iron being absorbed, we still want them to be digested and useful you know, mm -hmm. to the body. So amino acids and certain amino acids, smaller amino acids, are particularly um, effective you know, to fulfill this, uh, this role. Um, but again, it's because they provide nutritive as well as create all the other uh, chemically uh, um, satisfactory uh, characteristics of this chelate.